Seven persons, P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V, were born in the year 1990, 1996, 1999, 2004, 2009, 2012, and 2016. Not necessarily in the same order. Everyone shared the same birth date. Everyone shared the same birth date, which is 1st of January. All calculations are done with respect to their present ages as on 1st January 2017. So all the calculations have been done with respect to their present ages, which is, uh, you know, with respect to the date 1st January 2017. So basically, if you see, we have got uh, seven persons here, right? Seven persons are P, Q, R, S, T, U, and V. And there are seven different years of birth. 1990, 96, 99, 2004, 2009, 2012, and 2016. So all we need to do is find out which person has uh, born, was born in which year, right? And, and all the uh, persons were born on the same date, right? 1st of January and all the calculations are with respect to 1st January 2017. So we don't really have to struggle with those, you know, different months within a same year, right? I mean, it would have been a little more complex if two persons were born in the same year, but in different months. Then you'll also have to do a little bit of calculation on, you know, which month comes ahead of, you know, which month and accordingly find out who is elder and who is younger, etc. But here everything is with respect to 1st Jan 2017 and each one of them was born on 1st Jan. So that makes it a little simpler. Okay. And now there are five or six clues given to us. Look at the clues. Difference between T's and U's age is same as the difference between P's and S's age. T was born before the year 2000. Q was elder to T. R was five years elder to P. U is elder to R but younger to Q. At least one person was born between t and r at least one person was born between t and r so so let me uh, start explaining this to you all i think the first step here is to find out their uh, age in terms of years see we have been given the uh, year of birth here right the birth years have been given but when you're trying to use these clues you got to you got to you know know their age in terms of years like, like for example he says difference between t's and u's age is same as difference between p's and s age so i should know how old is t how old is u etc it will be difficult to work with the birth years here so what we'll do is for all the years 1990 1996 and so on up to 2016 let's calculate the year with respect to 2017 the age with respect to 2017 like for example the guy who was born in 1990 what will be his age in 2017 he'll be 27 years old right this person is going to be 27 years old Simple difference, 2017 difference, 1990, 27. How about 1996, 21 years old. 1999, the guy would be 18 years old. 2004, this person is going to be 13 years old. 2009, uh, he was born in 2009, so with respect to 2017, today his age will be uh, 8 years, right? Then 2012 and 2017 is 5, 2017 and 2016 is 1. So these are their ages, right? What are the numerical values here? 27 years, 21 years, 18 years, 13 years. 8 years, 5 years and 1 year with respect to the year now. So we know the numbers, okay. So basically we have got, uh, let's say, persons P, Q, R, S, T, U and V and there are different values. Now, now look at the clues. Clue number 1, difference between T's and U's age is same as the difference between P's and S's age. So difference between T and U is same as the difference between P and S. So what does it mean? T difference U will be equal to P difference S. Now this is not a very good way to start the arrangement, right? Because you know there are multiple values possible for T. T could be any of these seven values, right? Again, there are uh, multiple values possible for U, P, and S, right? So trying to find out uh, where the difference would be same for which four values the difference between each pair would come out to be same is a little difficult thing to comprehend, right? So let's leave it at this point. We will see if this is really the starting point. I mean, see, whenever you're doing these arrangements, right, the one thing that you have to understand is, you know, don't start with the first point always. Choose the point which is easiest to start with, right? Always try to find out which is the best way to start the solution. So I don't see this to be the best way to start the solution. Okay, so I'll keep it on hold, move to the next point. T was born before the year 2000. T was born before the year 2000. Now, if T was born before the year 2000, what are the possible values for T? See, before the year 2000, there are only three years here, 1990, 1996 and 1999 so i can say t will be any one of these t could be equal to 27 or 21 or 18 right i think i'll just shift the writing a little bit so that we can note down the clues okay based on the point given here t was born before 2000 meaning what T is equal to either 27 years old or 21 years old or 18 years old. These are the three possible values of T. Q was elder to T. 
Now understand this. This is again interesting. Q was elder to T. Q was elder to meaning what? Elder to T. If T is 18 years old, Q could be 21 or 27. Q is elder to T, right? So Q should be elder. So if Q is 18, see what are the possible values? Sorry, if T is 18, there are only three possible values for T. There are only three possible values for T, 27, 21 or 18. If T is 18, Q would be 21 or 27. So possible values of Q, possible values of Q, 21 or 27. If Q is, uh, if T is 21, what will be the value of uh, Q? 27. You know, Q was elder to T. So T can be 18. Then the possible values of Q are 21 and 27. T can be 21. In that case, Q will be 27. What happens if T is 27 years old? Can T be 27 years old? Well, if T is 27 years old and this point which states Q is elder to T, do not go with each other, right? Because there is no age more than 27 years here. So very clearly, T cannot be 27 years old. So one option is eliminated. T cannot be 27 years old. T can either be 18 or 21, but T cannot be 27. Because if T is 27, we don't have a choice for Q. Right? So T could be 18 or 21 and accordingly Q will be 21 or 27. If T is 18, Q can be 21 or 27. If T is 21, Q can be uh, 27. Alright? Next, R was 5 years elder to P. R was 5 years elder to P. Now look at this. R was 5 years elder to P. So R is equal to R is equal to P plus 5. Now this is an important point I guess. Right? There is only one difference that we need to look at. R difference P should be equal to 5. R minus P should be equal to 5. Right? R minus P has to be equal to 5 r minus 5 has to be r minus p should be equal to 5 now look at this which values see what are the values that we have uh, these are the values that we have right so find out where the differences are 5 where is the difference possible 5 if there is only one pair where the difference is 5 it's easy if there are multiple pairs then we'll have to consider multiple possibilities so what could be the values of p see understand the numbers are 21 sorry 27 21 18 13 8 5 and 1 I think the only pairs where the difference is 5 is 18 and 13 and 13 and 18. Yes or no? 18 minus 13 is 5. 13 minus 8 is 5. Anything else? Not possible. 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 minus 1 is 4. 21, 18 it is 3. 27, 21 it is 6. So I think this, this tells us that uh, there, are, there are two values here. What are the, what are the values of uh, R and P? What are the possible values of R and P? R can be 18 or R can be 13. If R is 18, P would be 13. If R is uh, 13, P will be 8. Right? These are the two sets that we have. R can be 18, then P will be 13. Because R minus P should be 5. R can be 13. In that case, P will be 8. Right? So, there are two, two cases I can say. There are two possible cases I can say. Then, last uh, next point here is U is elder to R but younger to Q. U is elder to R but younger to Q. So, I think uh, pictorially if I have to represent, U is elder to R but younger to Q. So, R is less than U is less than Q. Right, you should be less than Q, but you should be greater than R. You should be less than Q, but greater than R. Right, you should be greater than R, but less than Q. And last point is, at least one person was born between T and R. At least one person was born between T and R. So between T and R, there is at least one person. Okay, between T and R, there is at least one person. Fine. Mm. Yeah, I think this is a very key point. This is the most important point, I would say. Now that we have already come to some conclusions about the ages of R and T. See, R can be 18 or 13. T can be 21 or 18. These are the only two possible values for T and only two possible values for R. So try to use this point now. He says there should be at least one person born between T and R. There should be at least one person between T and R. Now try and understand. If R is equal to 18, see, we know that T is definitely greater than R. The possible values of T are 21 and 18. The possible values of R are 18 and 13. So if R is equal to 18, for example, if you consider that R is 18, where should T be? T can be T should be 27. T has to be 27. Because there should be at least one person, minimum one person should be there between T and R. So if R is equal to 18, T cannot be 21. T has to be 27. But can T be 27? No. We have already eliminated T possibility as 27. T cannot be 27. For whatever reason, right? Because if T is 27, Q has to be elder than T, which is not possible. So T, we know that we know that T cannot be 27. If T cannot be 27, then R cannot be 18. So R 18 is ruled out. R cannot be 18. And if R is not 18, P cannot be 13. So now the only possibility is R has to be 13 years. And in that case, P has to be 8 years. You're able to follow R has to be 13 years and then P has to be 8 years. 
one possibility of r is ruled out because if r is 18 t has to be 27 which is not possible so i think now you can start fixing up the values i mean if i have to just draw one simple table right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's say right who are the persons uh, p q r s t u and v so what is r r is equal to 13 we know that if r is 13 p has to be 8 so these two are fixed right and by the way if uh, r is let's say 13 if r is 13 r is 13 then the only choice is uh, t has to be t cannot be 18 see what are the possible values of t 21 or 18 if r is 13 r is 13 definitely r is 13 so when r is 13 can p t be 18 t cannot be 18 because there should be at least one person between t and r so t cannot be 18 yes or no t 18 is also ruled out t cannot be 18 t cannot be 18 the only possible value for t is 21 so t has to be 21 if t is 21 q cannot be 21 see the possible values for q are 21 or 27 21 has already been taken up by t so t cannot be t, t q cannot be 21 q has to be 27 so q is 27 q is 27 right q is 27 so i think this is done this point is done this point is done uh, we have also used this point now u is elder to r but younger to q u should be between r and q you should be between r and q so between r and q see r is 13 and q is 27 so between 13 and 27 you are able to follow r is 13 this is r and uh, q is 27 this is q so u has to be between r and q meaning you can be 21 or 18 you can be 21 or 18 but 21 is already gone for t yes or no 21 is already gone for t so u has to be 18 there is no other choice right u has to be between r and q between r and q there are only two possible values 21 and 18 of which 21 has been taken up by t so u has to be 18 years old now only two persons are left out s and v do we have any data for s and v no so i think that has to be done using this point here t difference u is equal to p difference s what is t difference u see the difference between t and u is 3 difference between t and u is 3 so difference between p and s should also be 3 p is already 8 so if p is 8 what should be s s should be 5 because difference between 8 and 5 is also 3 right so s should be 5 years that's it which means v has to be one year old and we are done right so p q r s t u v their ages are 8 years 27 years 13 years 5 years 21 years 18 years and one year and accordingly you find out the years i mean year of birth like 8 years is for 2009 27 years 1990 13 years 2004 5 years is 2012 21 years is 1996 18 years is 1999 and one year is 2016 now there will be five questions with this data right five questions along uh, along with this data you can answer the five questions very easily okay so the given clues are all required for us to find out the ages please do not go by the length of the explanation right i was explaining each and every point in detail so it has taken so much of time when you do it yourself you can very quickly eliminate these uh, possibilities and find out what the correct answer is right i mean you just have to play with these possible values and fill the gaps